A people without the knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Marcus Garvey The Navigators If you look at world maritime history and you ask who the most successful navigators are and the most successful types of ships, very few people would give you the correct answer, which is the Polynesian seagoing canoe and Polynesian navigators. Ancient Polynesians as voyagers, uh, well, they're the best. The Pacific Ocean, the largest in the world, 180 million square kilometers, larger than all the land combined. While European mythology said the ocean was full of sea creatures and monsters, we were navigating it like it was child's play. We are the greatest explorers the world has ever seen. But they never teach us this. This is the history relevant to me. This is the history they don't teach me at school. When the first Europeans came to the Pacific, they were shocked by what they saw. Everywhere they went, they saw hundreds of sailboats about the sea. Contrary to popular belief, the first pictures of Polynesian boats were not of paddle boats. They were of sailboats, yachts, dows, and catamarans, boats which harvested the power of the wind. In 1616, Dutch navigator Jacob Le Maire wrote about hundreds of huge sailboats he saw around Tonga. French explorer Jules Sebastien Caesar de Montdeville drew pictures of these boats and the huge warehouses the Tongans built to house them. 2,000 miles away in Tahiti, Captain James Cook wrote about how he saw sailboats everywhere, including Va'a bigger than his own ship. 3,000 miles away in Hawaii, Cook encountered over hundreds of different sailboats, sailboats as far as the eye could see. In Samoa, French explorer Louise Antoine de Bougainville was so astounded by the number of sailboats and sail ability that he named Samoa the Islands of the Navigators. Every Pacific island was bursting with sailing. But despite the many different styles of sailboats we built, the Europeans recorded them all as simply canoes. As well as the many Pacific sea vessels, Captain James Cook also noticed that despite islands being up to 6,000 miles apart, the cultures were very similar, if not the same. He also noticed that they spoke the same language. Cook realized these islands weren't isolated, they were linked together. He believed all Pacific people were a single race of explorers. How should we account for this nation spreading itself so far over this vast ocean? We find them from New Zealand to the south, to these islands to the north, and from Easter Island to Hebrides. Tahitians, Maori, Hawaiians, Tongans, Yuans, Samoans, Fijians, Polynesians, Micronesians, Melanesians, all a single genius race of navigators. But this would cause problems for mainstream Europe. At this time in Europe, brown people were being sold and bought as slaves. How could Polynesians conquer the largest ocean in the world thousands of years before white people? How could they have the technology and brains to do that? Sailing and navigation required the advanced science and dark-skinned people were supposed to be inferior. We were meant to be island savages. But instead, in the Pacific, Europeans found a brown race more sophisticated than them in navigation, astronomy, and sailing technology. The idea of dark-skinned Polynesian people being the greatest navigators and greatest boat builders meant Europeans were not superior at all. This would have caused havoc in Europe if word of this got out. So, they kept it secret. And that's why, for centuries, you haven't studied any of this in school. We used to sail from Tonga to New Zealand, from Samoa to Hawaii, from Fiji to Rarotonga, like we were popping out down the road to the shop. 
We use the stars, the elements, science, wisdom, and intuition. We built technologically advanced boats from natural materials. Today's America's Cup boats are now in the style of Polynesian catamarans. Ietonga, Polynesian fine mats, are not meant to be mats. They were used as sails. And as more and more studies and DNA tests are done, we've now learned that Polynesians were in America hundreds of years before Christopher Columbus. When you realize that Polynesians were capable of discovering these remote specks of land throughout the Pacific, how is it they could possibly miss these big islands of North and South America, these enormous land masses? I mean, I think we're absolutely sure that the Polynesians made it to South America before Columbus. I mean, I think the odds of that are in the 99.9999 range. It's almost flat Earth level to disbelieve that Polynesians made it to South America. I think it was other people who came before Columbus. We know West Polynesian. They were moving eastward. And the only possible end for this exploration was the South American coastline. But they never tell us this. Our history does not begin with missionaries calling us savages. We were scientific navigators who built and sailed a wide array of technologically advanced vessels. And we were always on the move. Our history is that of genius, of science and courage. Who discovered New Zealand? Who discovered Australia? Who discovered America? We did. We are the greatest navigators the world has ever seen. And it is time for our history to be taught. And it is time for you to realize that same brilliance is in your blood. This is the history relevant to me. This is the history they don't teach me at school. It's important to realize that their voyages were explicit voyages of discovery. And this isn't a matter of lost canoes or people running away from wars or anything like that. I think it's important that we recognize that some of these pre-contact people had tremendous capabilities. We need to spread what we find more widely. We need to tell people more about what we're finding. We need to rewrite those history books and get it out. What happened? Why does no one today know how to navigate? Order a copy now of our Untold Pacific History DVD. Email us, orders at everyoneforsarmore.com. Message us through Twitter or Facebook. And check out our website, www.everyoneforsarmore.com. But remember, this is for all islands and the people of the Pacific. It will change the way you look at your history, which will change the way you look towards your future. Order now.